All right, folks, versioning for Power Automy is finally rolling out. Let's take a look at how it works. This feature just started rolling out recently, so if you're not seeing it in your environment yet, just be patient, it should be there soon. And there are a few caveats to how this works. To be able to use this functionality, your flows need to be inside of a solution. So this is even more reason if you're not already to start using solutions for everything that you build. And don't worry if you wanna be able to take advantage of this with some existing cloud flows, you can always go create a solution and go into the add existing, automation, and then cloud flow to add those in and those will retroactively work with this versioning capability. And the whole reason that these even have to be inside of solutions is because it does rely on Dataverse to be able to handle that version history. So let's take a look at how this is designed to work. So right now I have this solution for my AI time management process and in it I have this cloud flow. So if I go click on that and we'll go to edit to put this in edit mode. Now, when this feature is enabled, you'll see this version history button here when you're in the edit mode of a flow. So if I click on that, I can see I already have a couple different versions. So on March 3rd is when I initially created this. So there's the past published version. And then right here, if I expand out the March 7th one, you see that this is letting me know this is the latest published version. So if I wanna switch back between any one of these versions, I just click on the version that I wanna to go to. And you'll notice that it changed because the title will change right here on the left-hand side to the date and time of that version. So now I can go look and see and kind of do a comparison between this version and the last. And if I need to, I can always do a restore to restore to that version. So I can click on this restore button. It just gives you the warning message letting me know that I'll lose any changes. Are you sure you want to do this? And if yes, I can say restore, and now I can go revert back to a previous version. So no more messing something up accidentally and then having to start over and be left in a panic. We have this built in. So now we're in our latest version here. So I can see today there is my latest version here. And then now I can make any other changes and publish it and I'll be good to go. And speaking of making changes, now that we have this version capability, that means we also have the capability to save our flows as drafts. So this is solving the age old problem that we've had ever since we started using Power Automy, where we might wanna make some changes, but we don't wanna to have to publish those changes yet. Maybe we have some errors that we need to deal with at a later time, but we don't wanna lose our progress. Or maybe we're just not ready to publish it yet. Now with the new save as draft feature, thanks to versioning, we're able to do that. So we can save any flow, regardless of the state, whether there's errors or not, as a draft version and continue making our changes on that and then publish it when we're ready. So I just reverted back to this previous version of this flow. And I'm just gonna make a quick change here. I'll kind of mess with this expression just to show you how if it has an error, it's still going to let me save it. And maybe even in the send to, let's break this as well. I'll make the two empty, so that'll have an error. And now if I wanna save this in draft mode, I just go up here to the right-hand corner and I say save a draft. And there you go, we get this green message bar pop up letting us know that it saved the draft version of our flow. So here's the initial version that we restored from a previous version at 617. And then just now I made those breaking changes and that's at 620, so we have this latest unpublished version. So if I were to back out of this flow, and we'll go back into edit mode here, we'll see that it's showing up here where the title of our flow is that this is a draft. So if we go back to the version history, and if we expand out the March 7th, I can see that this is the version of the flow that is currently published and active and working. And here is my draft version that I can keep working with and then publish when I'm ready. And when you have a flow like this and you might have other co-owners who are also making changes, we can each see each other's changes. So it's not just a capability where we can only see our individual changes. If we have other people collaborating on building a flow, we'll see all of the different version changes here. So it's fairly simple, that's really all there is to it. Now at the current time, this is a initial release of the capability, and there's a few limitations that I would like to see added to make it even better. One being that we're not able to add any comments to the version. I would really like to see as we save drafts or different versions here, the ability to add in some comments so that we can put in exactly what we changed without having to go into the flow itself and investigate and see what's different. We can't do that right now, but hopefully that'll come down the line at some point. The other big caveat of this, you'll see that I saved this as a draft. Even though we have the ability to do versioning and save as draft, that doesn't get us around the issue of having to be able to publish this to be able to test it. So you'll notice that the test button right here is grayed out, so I can't test something that is in a draft state. So I'd have to go make my changes here and fix any of the breaking issues, like where we removed the to and the email. 
and then publish that, and then I would be able to test it. And the other thing you'll notice here on the version history, there's no way to search or filter this. All it's doing is grouping by the date and time. So if you're using this a lot and you're making a lot of changes, it's going to be a long scrolling list that you're going to have to manually go through to be able to navigate back and forth between your different versions. So again, not ideal. It's just the way it is right now. But this is a big step in the right direction. So hopefully if you don't see this yet, it'll be hitting your environment soon and you'll be able to try it out. If you do try it out, let me know what you think. Drop a note in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.